How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's bull showcase of these twin 21 Suburbans paramedic vehicles for the St. Joe's healthcare system. Looking at these 21 Suburbans for St. Joe's Healthcare. Uh, off the bat, sound off signals, blueprint electrical system with sync. So you can see that both of our vehicles are in park mode and all the patterns are synced. Uh, this is great for scene safety, um, helps reduce distracted driving, um, works great when you have multiple vehicles in your fleet, you're able to synchronize the patterns and you pull up to an accident scene. Um, your arrow stick patterns can all be synced, adds a lot of uh, additional safety features that way. Up top on our vehicle, we're running Soundoff's N-Fuse light bar. Uh, we have Weston push bumpers up front with M-Powers in the front and sides. We have a Dometic 120 volt air conditioner. This runs off um, our shore power only power and it has a heat and cool option in it and they're able to control it from inside the vehicle. So look at the back, additional graphics, uh, sound off eight module M-Power arrow kit. We've got M-Powers on the rear plate. We've done a LED bulb upgrade, uh, flashing through Blueprint, also with the white scene function. We're flashing the parking light with Blueprint. We've got our 110 volt connection to power the air conditioning unit along with the battery charger. And then you can see the custom cabinet that we designed for it. So we tried to give it an open concept to allow airflow through. 60 inch slide out with wire chain for the 110 volt outlet so they can charge any of their monitors on it. And then at the bottom, another full depth slide out. Gives them access to all their equipment. So with the uh, back seats flipped up and pushed forward, you can see we made a custom cargo carrier. Uh, what you do is you pull the handles and you can drop it down. Allows you to get access to the um, equipment that you may want from the back. And then you also have equipment to, to uh, access from back here. Uh, one of the things that we did for the air conditioning unit was we designed a uh, special mount to adapt everything into the headliner and keep everything flat and give it a very nice OEM appearance. Underneath our mounting platform for our cabinet, you can see we have all of our electronics mounted for easy accessibility and serviceability. And we also have our uh, Cosmol uh, battery charger. And then we actually have our display mounted up in the rear window so that they can check the battery levels. Taking a look at our front console, we have one of our HDP consoles, uh, which are great for uh, sterilizing and cleaning because the, uh, they don't have any way of absorbing any uh, biological matter. You can easily sanitize them. We have a hint mount with a docking station for a Surface Pro uh, tablet. We have our uh, USB pass-throughs that reintegrate back into the factory system so there's no need to move the factory plug up and it keeps everything a lot more low profile. 12 volt USB ports. We've got their radio cutout. We've got our blueprint controller with a rotary knob. HDP pocket so they can put uh, pens or small items in. Cup holders with additional pen pocket. And then we've got a large map storage pocket in the back. Now we're in our drive response mode. Uh, you can see that we have our headlight flasher active now. Uh, we've changed the light bar pattern up to uh, provide a little bit more additional warning power. And it also enables the siren features to work so your siren automatically shuts off with park. So that way if you're pulling up to a scene and your siren's on, it's one less thing you have to worry about doing. Uh, just another feature that's very easily programmable and changeable with Blueprint that in other um, instances you may have to run additional wires or do programming in the siren. It's all very simple and you can always change it if you don't like it down the road. Thanks for checking out this week's Build Showcase. We'd like to thank St. Joe's Health for allowing us to build these two paramedic vehicles for them. We hope they provide uh, years of service. If you have any questions about these vehicles, please feel free to reach out to us. Please like, comment, subscribe on the video. If you're interested in a vehicle built to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to help you out.